Hello everyone, you all are welcome once again to Believer's Love Work Message Studio and this channel brings you all reaction messages from my dear man of God, Reverend of the Quiz, by Akilomi and this channel also gives you all gospel gist all around the world and if this is your first time coming across this channel I know one of these videos like this I will post on this channel then kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video so on today's episode we'll be having Reverend Anita and our great man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilomi. And Reverend Anita will be having a testimony. And on this testimony, he will be talking about how they started the ministry alongside with Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilomi. You know, in this life, every great man of God, every great man in this life started from somewhere. And one thing we should know about in this life is that whatever you do, whether it's wrong or right, there are people who will criticize you. There are people who will criticize you on the wrong side and the people who will talk about you on the right side. So you should keep on doing what you're doing. And before you say anything negatively about this video, then please do make sure that you watch this video to the end. And please make sure that you share this message for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it will also help this channel to grow. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up for it to help YouTube to recommend this video. Thank you all and keep watching. I don't think he had a house. All he had was God's word and God's vision. Netherlands, Christ Embassy here in Amsterdam, and have been just awed by what I have seen. But one big reason why I want to thank him was for standing on God's word. Praise God. <laughs> was for putting his focus on God. Because as of the time he moved here, we were always talking over the phone and I would encourage him. I don't think he had a house. All he had was God's word and God's vision. Praise the Lord. And from one year after another, he would call to say, my attendance has increased. We are moving into a little venue and another venue and, an, and were increasing and increasing and he sent out certain people he was just getting better and stronger just as God said the house of David grew stronger and stronger while the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker several years ago when we gave our lives to Christ we were saved we gave our lives to Christ people regarded us as young youths they're just young people. There are no old people in this church, only young people. Some felt they were not interested in our gospel. Some were not interested in what we had to say. Praise God. But all we did was embrace the love of Jesus and stood upon his word and declared his word with boldness. We were the group of people who were bold with the word. Taking God's promise, as he says, he's giving us access, the Bible says, with boldness. And so we walked with boldness. Hallelujah. And so as people started coming into church, though our ages are advancing, we keep looking younger. Yeah. Praise God. The Bible says your youth is renewed as the ego. So although in age we are growing older, but in actuality we are getting younger. Yeah. Younger for Christ. Hallelujah. And so people have come to see this gospel works. Amen. You have a wonderful pastor. You have a wonderful pastor, Pastor Femi, Sister Tukumba. Walk with them. <laughs> Praise the Lord walk with them they are men he's a man of faith and she's a woman of faith walk with of faith walk with them take it as a privilege to walk with them amen? amen god's placed them here for a purpose and if you look around you this is the beginning of great things to come yeah. i want to thank you Members of Christ Embassy, Netherlands, you've, some of you might have come from different parts. I want to thank you for declaring and professing Christ in this land. 
praise God. I have never been to the Netherlands before. This is my first time. It's such a beautiful country with beautiful people. Amen. 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 Very beautiful country. I like to say, never stop praying for this land. If you can enjoy the facilities of this country and the beauty of this country, you owe it to always pray that peace will prevail in this land. Hallelujah. That the gospel will prevail in this land. That God will come to reveal himself to the indigents of this land. Yeah. Praise God. You owe it to the people. God has called you as kings and priests. You owe it to the people to pray. That the gospel will prevail here. The word of God will prevail in this land. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come against terrorism in this land. Yeah. Come against any decision that would... Neg influence the gospel negatively in this land pray that God will use people in high positions to favor his word in this land amen keep praying for the Netherlands hallelujah and before you know it our man of God will be in this land I notice some of you are still seated. I said, before you know it, our man of God. That's it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated. If you would keep praying for this land, you wouldn't know when in a very short time, pastor will visit the Netherlands. You would have... Hallelujah. It takes one man of faith. One woman of faith. It takes somebody believing there. And another one believing there. And another there. And another there. And another there. And another there. And, another there. and a man of God will visit this land. Praise God. It was once a dream for us in the UK that pastor would come and minister then at the London Arena. We were not big enough to have brought pastor in, but we did. Amen. And when we did, we realized we were big enough. Amen. Praise God. And so now we've, pastors come in to the Excel Center to the Wembley Center, Wembley Arena. And this year, 2008, Pastor Chris will be coming again to the UK. This time, to the O2. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! The O2 is the venue where no believer, no Christian, no man of God has ever had a program at the O2. But after the program at the Excel Center, the O2 Arena looked for us. Praise God. I'm excited. I'm excited. Not only are we going to take all the halls at the O2, that is the biggest hall and then the smaller hall, we're taking all the halls. But I'm excited because I know in the year 2010, August, when pastor comes, wheelchairs will be removed from families. I'm excited. I'm excited because I know in August, the blind will see, the deaf will hear, the lame will walk. I'm excited that even before pastor comes to town, we, I, we will make sure, I will make sure the devil is uncomfortable. I've already sent our pastors Easter, go and have healing programs. So before pastor even comes to town, we're going to intimidate the devil. We'll have, 
we're having we, we're going to have the healing school we're going to have we're going to pray for the sick we're going to bring the sick in church we're going to start talking to them we're going to start preaching the word of god to them we're going to ensure that they are healed and change the plan of the enemy Amen. that's why at netherland are you ready for pastor You may be seated. When you are ready, there will be a heat in your body. There will be a fire in your bone. There will be a hunger in your mouth. You know we are hungry for a man of God. The time is short. I believe pastor will be coming soon. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Run with me quickly to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Thank you all for watching that wonderful episode, and I believe you enjoyed that video. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, and you don't want to miss videos like this, I'll post it on this channel. And if you hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be first to get notified whenever we post a video. And do not forget to share our videos for you to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world, and it will also help this channel. To go and do not forget to give us a thumbs up for you to help YouTube to recommend our videos. Thank you all and stay tuned to see you next time. We love you. God bless you.